Uh, some of you may have heard of the story of Henrietta Lacks. Uh, I believe we mentioned it before, but she was an African American woman. She died in 1951 in Baltimore. Well, wow. talking about Baltimore a lot. Uh, but a uh, young African American woman died in 1951, I think in her 30s. But here's from what cancer. from cancer. But here was here's what was interesting uh, about her and her life is that cells were taken from her under during one of these surgeries without her knowing it, and the cells, unlike most others they could ever find, would reproduce very easily in uh, and in and indefinitely in lab conditions, and therefore they kept using her cells over and over for eternity like till now they're still using them and they're basically only using her cells uh so well and used in tests including the polio vaccine the uh, effects of radiation on human cells and developing a treatment for sickle cell anemia i mean yeah so that's a lot of fucking testing you're doing on these cells it has amounted to she died at age 31 in 1951 since then it's estimated 50 million tons of her cells have been produced like it's hard to even contemplate i don't even know what that means i know what is going on here but so there's a lawsuit brought uh by equipment laboratory equipment maker thermo fisher scientific has settled a lawsuit with the estate of henrietta Lacks, a long to see uh long long deceased uh, cancer victim with immortal cells. Um, so we don't know the amount that they were ultimately paid, but they were, they were content with the settlement. Um, the ten, the tissue sample that became the, uh, Hela. uh Hela, yeah, or Hela, I guess. But, uh, cell line was cut from Lax's cervix at John Hopkins in, in Baltimore. um, they sued in 2021 because the family had not seen a dime of the money that Thermo Fisher made from cultivating the Hella line of uh, cells. The lawsuit accused Waltham, Massachusetts-based Thermo Fisher of unjust enrichment, arguing it illegally commercialized Black's genetic material. Black suffering, and here's a quote from the lawsuit, Black suffering has fueled innumerable medical progress and profit without just compensation or recognition. Yeah. I'm wondering uh, what, so was this, uh, it doesn't say in this article, but I'm wondering if this was a common practice, like if they were, uh, particularly with black patients, if they were going to do some surgery, like they did in this case, if they would just go ahead and take cells while they're there. Cause who the fuck cares? Right. Like, right. Was that, I wonder if that was well, a common practice. And, and of course, uh, yeah, I don't know, but it wouldn't surprise me. And of course there's worse situations such as the Tuskegee course, experiments where they would literally sicken uh, black, this was black men. And just to see what would happen and, and, and not tell them what they have and then just watch them as they die and see what happens as they die. So uh, it really is completely fucked up and it shows a disrespect for uh, black people as humans, mm -hmm. really. Um, and so she was never told that they took her cells. Uh, and then I love this about their argument against, so they tried to argue against this, uh, the, the idea that they'd have to pay her estate. Uh, and ultimately they did pay, but in the, in the, uh, lawsuit, Th Thermo Fisher argued that the lawsuit was brought too late. I love the idea that you steal someone's cells. You what don't tell them. You don't tell them why you're still like, I doubt she was told like, Oh my God, you have magical cells right. that are keep reproducing. So you don't tell them anything and then you secretly go and make, make whatever millions, millions, maybe billions of dollars. And then when you haven't told them, haven't told the family, haven't told her, she dies and you're like, well, you guys didn't bring a lawsuit in time. It's like, how was that? supposed to fucking know you stole her cells. Well, like, right. And what's the, uh, what's the, what do they call it? The, um, uh, the term limit, like, like when you can't bring a lawsuit because it's too much time. Statute of limitations. What's the statute of limitations <laughs> on stealing someone's fucking cervical cells? You psychos. Uh, 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, no, I uh, honestly like 
and you're still using the cells. It's not right. like oh, we stole them back then and then we never used them again. And they're trying to sue us for 50 years ago, 70 years ago. It's like, no, you're still fucking using them. Right. Uh, yeah. So anyway, this is an insane story, but it is a good news story in that the family succeeded in this lawsuit. I found out about it. I know. I think, I think when this story first broke, there was information on how they found out, but I don't know. Probably a whistleblower who they probably tried to prosecute. Yeah. Anytime you step out and reveal truth about our reality, someone goes, that person should be in jail. That's a problem. (laughs) 